Hey guys, it's Hag here, and I thought I'd make a short little video on an awesome website called VirusTotal, which you can use to scan your computer with over 60 different antivirus vendors to get a solution for a file that you may download it online or a URL to see if it's a like a malicious website or a file as I said that you may have downloaded that may have been infected and you want to make sure that the file is not infected and you only have the one antivirus on your computer because a lot of times it's not going to stop the threat the, what this website is and I know there's a lot of you out here that already know it about this site but uh, for those that don't this website basically will allow you to scan a file maybe that you've just downloaded online and you want to check to see if that file is infected well this will allow you to actually scan the file with over 60 different antivirus softwares to come up with one solution to see if the file is infected or not and it also will scan URLs so if you're browsing a, a website online and you want to know if uh, the website is infected or not and you're not sure maybe this will uh, scan it with over 66 different vendors so you can get a solution alright so uh, this is a free site anyone can use it and I'm gonna show you here how to use it right now so uh, I'm just gonna pull up a few URLs here that we know that are malicious and we're gonna show you how it works okay so this can be any URL you could be uh, browsing the, the, the Google and uh, you wanna know if the URL is safe or not before you click on it well you copy the URL in and then you click scan and now this is gonna create a report up and it says that there's eight of 66 antivirus vendors have found this URL suspicious so what we're going to do is I'm just going to click reanalyze and you can see here bet defender militia malware site uh, malware domains blockless malicious site commando Let's just say, and you can see here all the antivirus vendors that didn't catch this website. So if you had, uh, let's say, Norton's on here, Cement Tech, where's Cement Tech? Right here. Or whatever, I don't know why it doesn't give me Cement Tech's report. But for an example, if you were to have, let's say, any of these different antivirus softwares on your computer like Kaspersky's it wouldn't have detected that site was malicious if you had uh, let's say you had a uh, bit any uh, website here Avera let's say if you used Avera um, it would have missed this website and it would have got through to your computer probably um, so you can see here Dr. Webb didn't define that and you can see here the ones here that found it uh, that marked in red that are malicious so it says here that Bitdefender has actually stopped this website and uh, you can see the other antivirus vendors that reported this as a malicious website so you can see here that not all these antivirus softwares are catching this website so this virus total site is very very useful if you really want to be accurate to see if the URL is dangerous or not so I got some more URLs here that are malicious again I'm gonna scan some of them and uh, it again it can be anything it could be you know it could be a, a Google search that you're doing and you want to know if the, if the file is infected so you just pick, click what you do is you click URL you just paste the URL in and click scan it's that simple this one's detected 14 out of 67 vendors have detected this as a potential threat. I'm going to just reanalyze. So we'll give it a minute. And you can see here, again, Bitdefender has caught this one, which is. Now, Bitdefender is probably the best antivirus software you can use, other than Malwarebytes. So I would recommend you guys use Bitdefender as your antivirus software. I, I really. Uh, think it's the best that's just my personal opinion and you should also run malware bytes on your computer but anyhow you can see Bitdefender you can see Avera this time has caught this as a phishing site you can see uh, and then you can go down here and you can see all the other sites that completely missed it so malware bytes missed it which is not that 
which is all right because this is not really the type of malware that malwarebytes defends against. It's a uh, so URL. Don't forget, it's not it. It would likely uh, protect you against a drive-by exploit kit or a file that is on the system, but uh, yeah. But you can see Bitdefender has detected this and all the other stuff that missed it are in here, so you can read the report. All right, we'll just scan a few more of these uh, URLs here. Some of these URLs are quite old, actually, so um, we don't know if these will. Th these are all active URLs, but. Uh, the report still says that these are malicious sites, and I know these sites are malicious. I'm just using these URLs as an example to show you. Here again, five of six, reanalyze. And you could see here that the file is malicious. The website, sorry, is malicious. So, again, Bitdefender's caught it, and all these other ones haven't caught it. And uh, now we're moving on to files, all right? I'm just going to go to a website here where we can search for some malicious files. Now, I advise you guys to not mess with this website because this website is hosting real viruses and spyware. It's a website resource for people like me that are using it as to uh, make tutorials on YouTube. It's all these are like actual malware samples. So if you come to this website, don't you download anything on this malcode.com site because you will get infected. That's the purpose of that site is for malware enthusiasts like me to. Uh, use it as a resource to analyze malware and to uh, you know what I'm doing making a video to show you how to use this site to protect your computer so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna actually I'm actually gonna try to download one of these uh, files that are malicious here now this could be a file that you don't even know I mean it could be a game that you're trying to download alright this is an it says chrome extension .exe. this is really not a alright you could see here that uh the uh, actual Google Chrome is already detect this as a virus, so I need to shut off the, the, the Google Chrome protection so I can use this file. Hang on. Um, and uh, Windows 10 has already found that as malware, which is really good because Windows 10 has a built-in security system. Anyhow, I'm just going to... Uh, I mean, you may not even know about this, and it could be... It, this you may have not even got this warning and you may have tried to open the file up but I'm gonna actually uh, allow it anyways I'm just gonna shut off the uh, protection on Google Chrome real quick hang on I'm not seeing the option to shut malware protection off here. Anyhow. For whatever reason, I can't download the file because it is a malicious file. But uh, you know what? What you can do is you can go to Virus Total and do a URL. I'm punching that URL. Click Scan. Again, it does it as well by just pasting in the URL from the site. Um, I've tried to get one of these viruses or malware to work so I can upload it. But uh, unfortunately, my computer is so secure that it's probably not going to allow anything to go through. <laughs> See, because uh, Windows 10's detected it already. Google Chrome's detected it already. Unfortunately, I probably can't really show you an, an example of a file. But it could be anything. I'm just going to do a good something good. Let's just go Malwarebytes, which is a real legitimate program, for an example. And I'm just going to show you how to scan and upload a file. Actually, I don't have to even do that. It can be any file on your computer that you're unsure of. So you go to Virus Total. And uh, click Scan click choose file this could be any file it can be a photo I'm not I mean most malware is .exe so let's just say we're not unsure about this file here right here let's just pretend we don't know what this file is we just downloaded this file right here so you want to know if it's malicious or not just you select it 
click scan and that will upload the file and it will tell me if it's safe or not now it says one of 54 this, this one says it's adware now I can tell you that this is not an adware file this is actually the download to Windows 10 which was on Microsoft's official website uh, this antivirus vendor is marking it as adware I do not believe that but all the other vendors are saying this is a safe file and I know that was a safe file which is kind of odd that that one's coming up it's really weird again I'm gonna do one last example it could be any file that you're unsure of on your computer click choose file and uh, click open click scan and again this one is completely safe nothing's come back 55 0 out of 55 they all tell me here that it's a safe file so I hope this uh, video helps you when you're downloading files online it's always best to check with virus total to see if it's an infected file or not and you could also uh, use URLs as well so if you enjoyed this video, please remember to comment, write, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.